get rid of those little boxes just to make our whole graph area look a little bit cleaner. Since our x values need to range from negative 5 to 5 on this portion of the axis that we've drawn, each of these grid lengths needs to count for 1. So when we step from 0, one step over, we need to label that 1, 2, 3, and so on. And you see we get to 5 on the positive edge of the axis. Counting in the negative direction, we have the same scale. So we have negative 1, negative 2. And you can see I even made a mistake when I was drawing these axes. I made our x-axis one longer than it needed to be, which doesn't really hurt us, so I'm going to leave it as is. I apologize for my lack of perfection here. Now in the y direction, we need to be able to go from positive 10 all the way down to negative 20. We have five boxes up here and 10 boxes down here, so that means we need to count by twos with each step of the graph. So moving from zero up one box is going to actually be stepping two in the y direction. And then down, we have the same scale again. Now again, the point of creating these scales and these limited lengths for either axis is really just to make our lives easier a little bit when we're graphing. The x and y values for this graph do extend actually all the way from negative infinity to positive infinity. We're only going to graph part of that infinitely long line, in particular the part that shows these values on this graph.